gone in a little bit. no bar and there most definitely isn't a blind man because this is the end of all of us. Ouch. What? A blind man walks into a bar. Ouch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I accept your apology. I'm trying my absolute best not to have like a full-on mental breakdown right now. I just, I can't wrap my head around what I'm seeing. What's your name? Um, Charlie? My name's Charlie. Then I guess we have the char in common. <laughs> in both ways. <laughs> <laughs> See, even in our situation we can find things funny. I guess. So, um, why here? Baker Beach. The glow really lights up the bridge. That's it? No really good place to watch the world in. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool to see it all happen from the moon. Yeah. So, is there anything significant about the blanket? You have a lot of questions. <laughs> Maybe. So, blanket? Belong to my mom. Where is she? I don't know. You don't know? Never met her. Well, that's not true. I was just too young to remember. She left, so now it's just this blanket. The only thing I have of her. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> Why Baker Beach for you? Pretty much the same. Just thought, why not? Well, thank you for coming and sitting with me. No problem. I was scared I was going to die alone. I'm sorry if that's weird. I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying any of this. I guess the end of everything makes you really open. I just, I'm scared. Surely, I am terrified. We knew this was coming for the last six months and I didn't do anything. You know, people used to ask that question, if the world ended tomorrow, what would you do? All that bullshit, well, I had half of a year. The last half of a year that mankind will ever see, what did I do with it? Nothing. I, I guess 
guess I just brought this blanket because it's my only tie to anything. My mom and my dad and all of what I used to have at one point. What I don't have anymore. I don't even know how I lost it all. Through the years, thing after thing just fell apart and I gave up on myself. I even used to be suicidal, and even then, every time, I just, I couldn't. I knew that there was more to life, more that I could be. Yet here we are. I couldn't have been more wrong. What? I'm sorry, it's just, you literally couldn't have been any more wrong. <laughs> I told you I'd make you laugh. Yeah, you did. Charlie, what's your last name? Um, Sutter. Why? What's yours? Dominguez. Nice to meet you, Charlie Dominguez. Nice to meet you too, Charlie Sutter. Why are you actually here? You said I was in your own spot. I love this beach. I lived in the city almost my entire life. And my parents would always bring me here when I was younger. I just kept coming over the years. The nostalgia always brought me back. And fun fact, I used to build sand castles right around here. Where are they? Um, your, your parents? You sure turned the tables, huh? To answer your question, I don't know. It helps them where they're happy. They did? No, no. Maybe? I ran away. Nothing against my parents. I just went full on into the wild mode. I destroyed everything and I left. A couple years later, when I found out the world was ending, I decided I better make my way back home, only to find out they had moved sometime long ago. Have you tried to contact them? It's no use. See, I found that out just a couple hours ago. I was living in a goddamn van on top of some mountain in Washington last week. I had no idea the world was ending until I looked up at the sky one morning. Jesus Christ. I've had a week. A week. No. Six days. Six days to process all of this. I decided to nice you and try to contact them. My parents are very wealthy. As you know, anybody who is somebody is on that spaceship right now trying to get the hell out of here to God knows where. Charlotte? Yeah? I don't know you. rather watch the world end with anyone else. We're going to die today, Charlotte, but I'm, I'm not going to let you die without it's you knowing really, that. I'm going to miss you dearly. Just spending the rest of our lives together. to you, but I never want to let you go. I hate that I met you, but I hope with everything in me that I get to see you again someday. I don't know if that's even possible. I don't know if there's a heaven or We're a hell. Sure now. It's not fair. I need more time. I can't go. Even if 
we were, I don't know, clinically depressed. There was always next year, and next year, and next year. But now there's no more next year. Charlie, we made it. We made it to the end of the world. It's heartbreaking, I know, but I wish so desperately that there was some other universe where we could have a life together. Here we are, the last humans to ever be on this rock. We're the end of history. And those rich people, they just get to fly out of here. They get to live, and we get this. All that is is death postponed. Those thousands of people are spending millions of dollars to get a few more months at best. I want those few months more than anything in the world. It would just make this all more painful. Would it be worth it? Maybe. But it's too late for us. It didn't have to be. You know, when you first get on a roller coaster and you're just going up and up and up, that, that little knot in your stomach begins to grow with every inch you move further because you know that eventually you're going to drop. And now you're completely helpless to it. I felt like that every single goddamn day since I got that news alert. Except this time, the knot in my stomach has gotten way too goddamn big because this isn't a roller coaster. At least then, as scary as it is, you can get back down safely after a few minutes, but... There's no happy ending to this, Charlotte. Stop talking. What else is there to do? Be here. It's no use losing your mind over all this. Our destiny is set in stone now. Quite literally. <laughs> I'm here with you. You're not alone. And you never will be again. You're the best person I've ever met. <laughs> Don't say that. It's true. single day and wish I could go back and change, but time keeps moving and all we can do is just live with our mistakes. Thank you for saying you're good to me. I don't care about whatever mistakes you've made, just that's, that's what they are. They're Mistakes. Whatever you did that led you here, to this spot, with me, on the last day ever, and I am forever grateful for that. You're the best person I've ever met. I've saved the best for last, eh? I guess so. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. <laughs> make this all worse. I don't know anything can make this worse. It's possible. We have less than five minutes. <laughs> Charlie, what's your favorite song? Why does it matter? I want to know more about my life partner. <laughs> Going to California by Led Zeppelin. I love that song. You've heard it? Of course I have, I'm not uncultured. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, what's yours? My favorite song? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I have oh, Come on. No, really. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. I can never hate you. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> so, favorite song? This town. My Nile horn. That guy from One Direction? <laughs> 
Your favorite song is also by a boy band. It's different. Not really. I beg to differ. Well, me too. Ish town. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hopeless romantic, I guess. <laughs> That's why I came here. To California, the song. Uh, I lived in Colorado. And the song, going to California. I just went. To California. I I always wanted to see the Golden Gate Bridge too. And honestly, Google just said this beach had a great view, so yeah. It does have a great view. And uh you have flowers in your hair. I do. I can't believe you're real. you now. Why did you scream? Because why the hell not? You try. To scream? Yeah. Entire body now, Charlotte. I, I feel it everywhere. I feel it everywhere. Why did you pull away? I have no strength to stand. You mind if I sit with you? each other again. I promise. It's alright. It's gonna be alright. I'll see you again. And until I do, I'm going to miss you every single second of every day. I love you, Charlie. I'm so glad I got to spend the rest of my life with you. Charlie. I said don't say anything. <laughs> I know you love me, Charlie. We'll see each other again, okay? Tell me when we meet again, okay? Does that sound good? All my life, I was running, and I felt like I was searching for something that I would never find, but I found it in you. I was looking for you my entire life. And now that I have you, I'm not letting you go. So just look at the sky with me. One last time. 